very much into this five years difference mike tyson is younger than biggs even though he's had 31 fights to biggs 15. yeah barry and uh, tyson interestingly came in questions that mike tyson really has to answer can he cope with a clever boxer can he survive a heavy puncher and can he persevere when he's hurt you notice right from the start tyson is applying the pressure trying to slow this man down i'm seeing more jazz from mike tyson than i've seen in the past i see a lot of movement on the part of uh, Tyrell Biggs. Good lateral movement. Those hands should be up a little higher because, again, the hand speed of Mike Tyson is very good. Pattern in Tyrell Biggs that he feints to the right before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up to get that kind of leverage. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not Biggs can keep this up is yet to be seen. It's not time to be pretty in here. It's just time to frustrate this man. And that's what they want from, Ty from uh, Biggs. Good, consistent jab. And along the lines of patterns, Biggs feels that Tyson actually bobs in a pattern four times, and then he comes up with his head. See, wait, now I'm here. You saw how Tyson oh, walks in that? with that crouching style to deliver a shot. He's trying for the head. Now we see him here. Those looping right hands and left hooks. Get him up, Mike. Right, but he keeps his hands down too low. Tyson has very quick hands for a big man. Been here in just a moment as it has come loose. Biggs started to a stationary target, which is... You see, Biggs was doing great the first two minutes. He did fight according to his fight plan, but he still took some strong shots from Tyson. You see, now Biggs is fast with so much velocity behind him. Is to give Biggs rather to move to his left. Now he's been. As Michael Tyson said before this fight, everybody has a plan until they're hit. And Biggs starts the else jab. Wait behind the punch. A lot of leverage. Pretty bad. It's the same eye, the same cut. Hurts. Fight plan. And there is a huge left hand. Same right hand, Larry, that was thrown by David Beck. So vulnerable. By the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start to throw some uppercuts. He took a big left hand to happen, Ray, that a fighter like. Biggs, in this case tonight, will go into a fight with a game plan and almost doing exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge. And so we start the fifth round and Tyson... I don't know if Tyrell's going to recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. I don't know what that was a second ago by Tyrell Biggs. This is somewhat disappointing for Biggs' corner because he has more talent than what he worked ahead. Lou is doing everything possible to inspire. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he takes a good fight, Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love that. These two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Now the left hand, and there's a good... His legs don't look steady. Oh, the mentor of Mike Tyson. Told him, his trainer said, if your legs are gone, stand in leverage. And he's never, there's a right hand that just caught Biggs. That's that was head. a tremendous left hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do you feel, Paul? Okay? Oh, this, this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. And what we've seen has happened so often 
in which a fighter after a few rounds starts to hang on to Tyson that we have to say it's Tyson's credit. He's the one who makes it happen. He makes it happen with his pressure. And no matter what an opponent's plan is, that plan disintegrates like a broken piece of crockery when it's faced with that kind of pressure. There's no way to practice for that. I pointed out in the past, it's like trying to, how do you practice to hit Nolan Ryan's fastball or Boris Becker's serve? Where do you, where do you get the practice for that? You don't. <laughs> it's that simple. Let's take a look. All we had was actually a replay of what took place. Here, Mike Tyson really got it together. Here's the final knockdown now. No, I, I think it's the power and the fact that Mike Tyson actually wore him. And would you describe what was happening? Well, I was in there looking for the punch, boom, and I knew it would come. Because when he threw a punch, his hand opened a little, and I thought I could slip a punch right in there. 